All right, so I had to pause right quick and order my coffee on the app while I ride in the automated car to um, Starbucks. Yeah, this is real. This is not, this is not me fronting. Look at that. Maybe on the way back, I ride in the front seat. I feel like a dork now in the back. That's what I've been telling cats, man. They was, you know, people be like, oh, man, automated cars. Now, granted, me a lot protect me. A, um, a wild drunk driver could come and T-bone the car, but that can happen to anybody. You know what I mean? But the, the, the automated car doesn't have an attitude. It's not stressed about anything. It's not taking anything personal. And its senses are greater than your senses because, as you can see, the sensory, the senses that the car have can hear and see, detect, and react to things at a higher pace than the average human, which is pretty much why we're going to end up having to fight the robots in the future and have the Butleria and Jihad or the, the war against the thinking machines because eventually they're going to be able to outthink us and, you know, you know we're going to have to fight back because it'll be, it will be an existential threat. I don't really believe that, even though it's very, very, very plausible when you see how much smarter than humans um, robots are. And as Elon Musk says, the only way to defeat AI from overtaking humanity is to also integrate into AI, which is why he's creating a uh, Neuralink. It's like the only way to the only way to not get outpaced by 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 computers is to become a computer, which some would even argue is a part of the natural progression of organisms on this planet, which, you know, it's a pretty strong argument if you get into the details of it. But I'm just a truck driver. So all I'm talking about is I'm out here. Riding in this, what well, this is, J Pace Jaguar. Man, this is, we really out here in Phoenix, man. Okay, see. Slowing down in the um work zone. That's some Muslim sisters, I guess they hanging out for the eat. Well, downtown Phoenix is kind of fly. Never been here before. Almost there. Don't forget your phone, keys, or bag. Oh, thank you, robot. For your safety, the doors will remain locked when we arrive. Pull the handle twice to exit. The first pull unlocks. The second opens the door. Is that for my safety or is that for your control? Hmm, robot? Oh, here we go. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. Thanks, robot. All right. That's the robot. See it? Way more eyes and ears than you have. Boom, dudes. You have a bunch of homeless people and automated cars in one city. That's my destination. Catch y'all on the way back. Right, hey, we're back for the next leg of the trip. This time. Heading to 1528 East Buckeye Road. 
Please make sure your seat belt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with the rider support agent. This time, so I got my coffee. I'm in the front seat. There's no one in the back. There's no one in the driver's seat. It's just me. Down here in Phoenix. This is mad ill, yo. Look. So here we go. Yo. So as you can tell, I'm not fronting, not pretending. <laughs> Goddamn self driving cars. It's cool too. Like you really. You really can't even really, um, like I said, maybe it's just me, but you don't really, it's weird, man. It's really weird. It feels natural. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, my, my bad. Like I said before, it feels like, it feels like when you ride in a roller coaster and it's being pulled by the chain or when you go to the go-kart park and they're pushing the go-karts and lining them up and they're taking control of it, you know, that's, that's all it really feels like. Like it doesn't, doesn't feel out of body. Um, but like I said, maybe that's just me, you know, here we pulling up on the bus and it's, it's going to change lanes. It's, Swerve on the bus, slow down a little bit, make sure nobody was walking around the front nose of the bus, which is a, a good safety tactic. I tip my hat to the robot. Uh, they need, need to bring some armor raw wipes up in here, but you know. Jay Pace driving 30 miles an hour. Yeah, this is this is this is this is the wave of the future. I don't know how long, how, how many decades it's going to take before this is something all across, you know, America or something that a private citizen will have at their disposal. But, you know, it's, it's working today. It's working today. I'm going to Starbucks. I'm on the way back to uh, my truck going about my business. Phoenix is an interesting city. It's it's. I, I don't know where the good parts are. Every part I've been in so far looks grimy. I'm sure there's a really nice part. I'm, you know, there's there's always that nice part. I don't know where it is, but you know, seems cool. So I don't really think there's much else to really to really uh describe. They let you uh. Let you hook up, you know. I don't know if they chose that or if that came out of my phone. I don't know. But yeah, man. It ain't really a lot to it, you know. Nobody in the back seat. Just me. Just me riding through Phoenix. Somebody painted Mario on the wall. Look at that, Mario. That's pretty cool. It's a good paint job right there. As if I know something about paint. Jack in the box. So, it's about to drop me off. Uh, four minutes to my stop. I gotta go back around here. Yep. That's it. I don't, ain't really much else to say. Riding an automated car, just the wave of the future. They already have, they had a uh, small pilot automated vehicle thing going on in Gwinnett in, uh, outside Atlanta, which was like buses. Look, there was another, there's another, uh, that's what they look like on the outside. You see, with all the, with all the uh, lights and headgear and so forth. So. But yeah, they had a, they had a small bus program in Atlanta. Outside of Atlanta and Gwinnett, but this I think they have this in San Francisco and now here in Phoenix. But um, 
Yeah. It's the wave of the future, man. Nothing else really to be said. Peace.